Colorado's education system is in a state of crisis. That's the finding from the annual Colorado State of Education report written by the largest teachers union in our state. Denver 7's Jessica Porter breaks down the key challenges educators say they're facing. Jess? And Shannon, gun violence, low pay, staffing shortages. Being an educator is not easy these days. But what's different in this year's annual report is the large number of educators who are considering leaving the profession. That is a major red flag when we have, you know, nearly two thirds of our educators saying that they are considering leaving the profession. Teachers are giving up on education and they don't feel safe. That's just some of the concerns laid out in a report by the Colorado Education Association. A poll from your educators is 67% said they're worried about a mass shooting or the possibility of one in their school. That is an increase an increasing number that we're seeing. Um, and certainly something that we need to pay attention to when our educators are saying they feel worried. We can certainly, um, you know, translate that to how our students must be feeling. CEA represents 39,000 educators and staff who say low pay is the second most cited reason teachers are quitting. Workload is first and CEA says that's due to understaffing. We have one of the strongest economies in the country, yet we have facts and statistics like that we have one of the lowest starting salaries for educators in the country. And educators are facing a new challenge from parents. 21% are considering leaving because of politically motivated attacks. The number of educators talking about the toll it is taking on them, that their professional judgment is being questioned, is being, you know, really kind of caught in the center of this uh, rhetoric. The Colorado Education Association wants lawmakers to get to work by providing more mental health support for students, banning automatic assault rifles, fix affordable housing, and fully fund education, something they say hasn't been done since 2010 and has cost schools $10 billion in funding. I think when voters understand that we have an entire generation of students who have never experienced a fully funded system, that's something that I think motivates people to say we must do better. In his state of the state address, Governor Polis said he will raise per pupil education funding and submitted a proposal to buy down the budget stabilization factor and eventually eliminate it. That's the budget tool that was created after the Great Recession that cut funding to school districts. Live in the studio, Jessica Porter, Denver 7. And now let's expand on teachers' concerns over safety. An open records request from Chalkbeat shows a record number of weapons were found at Denver Public Schools just last year. Going in depth now, 200 weapons were found on DPS property in 2022. That's five times greater than during the 2018-2019 school year. And 13 of those 200 weapons were guns. DPS Media Relations Manager Rachel Childress said while the district will not tolerate weapons on school grounds, they are working to get to the root of the problem. And Denver 7 has obtained a draft copy of a new bill that would ban the sale of assault weapons in Colorado. This bill would do three things. First, it defines what an assault weapon is and lays out specific characteristics for what makes a gun an assault weapon. Second, it bans the manufacturing, importation, purchase, sale, or transfer of ownership on one of these guns. And lastly, it calls for the ban of rapid fire trigger activators. Now, Republican lawmakers have said they will not support this bill. Democrats are waiting to see what the final bill looks like before committing.